All right, uh, I'd like to give a first impression video review of a web SIP soft phone, and that thing's a little bit of a tongue twister. Um, but I'd like to give a quick video review. I think it's an interesting idea having a ActiveX web control as a SIP soft phone that you can embed in a web page. Um, very interesting, and I'm going to give you the link here, not to give anybody free advertising, but I guess we'll basically do that. You see it there, sipservices.gr. I'm guessing there's a lot of other ones, but I just thought people might have interest in seeing how a ActiveX uh, SIP phone works. And we're just going to pop it up. When you click on this link, if we click on that, and let me see if I can pop it for you. Got it right there. Okay, the first thing you'll see, and I have it already installed. I did ActiveX, did install the ActiveX control, so it's installed, ready to rip here. And the first thing you will see is this screen. And all you need to do is type in your extension, and then the pin, and then your SIP server, your 3CX or asterisk server, and display name. You can put something in there. Or you can say web SIP. And of course, you can have it remember these settings, and then you don't have to retype them in when you come back to this web page. And uh, we are ready, actually. And then the next step is to go online. You and I was already logged in, so if you, we'll just go offline. And you notice the little log there that lets you know what's happening. If we click on it, logged in and registered, and you'll notice this is the navigation between kind of the different screens in the uh, web SIP client and it's an ActiveX control so if your browser supports ActiveX you can run this line transfer uh, looks like there's three lines here if I'm thinking right if you want to transfer a call looks like you can call record um, with 3CX you can do that automatically but it looks like you can do this from the interface here and the dial pad which of course is where you'll dial and we'll just test it by dialing our trusty voicemail. It seems like sometimes it doesn't catch when you click on the button, but that might be me too. I'm running this on Vista, and I did have to restart my computer using Vista. I might have had some drivers, but we're going to dial. Please enter personal identification number, then press pound. And you can hear we we did connect there. So if we're up here. And you know what? Please enter extension number. It looks like it. You have to dial it on here. One, two, one. Please enter personal identification number. That you have no messages. And Press we, star to play. Press nine for option. And we can hang up. And uh, yeah, it looks like you do need to use the buttons here. It didn't seem like when I typed in here to back up. You have to use the backup key, but typing in doesn't seem to to send tunes. So there you saw we made a simple call. Did work and it looks like if you're accepting incoming calls, we'll show you I'll pull up the VoIP client and call it. And we'll see what happens there. And you notice a call and you can just click accept there. And you can hear the ring uh, obviously I have them both running on the same computer so you see both of them. So yeah, then you would accept the call. We won't do that because, and you can also see the setup screen where you can change the mic and the speaker volume, codecs that you want to use and which speaker you use. Uh, when I first set it up, I had a little trouble getting in there, but it seemed like restarting a couple things got it going. On XP, I didn't seem to have any problems like that, so I don't know if it's a Vista issue or not. And we have a do not disturb, mic boost, and some other things. And then the about, of course. And we'll just make a quick call. Why don't we make a quick call to the 3CX VoIP client? And we'll call. Pick up. Put it on hold. And you can hear that's the SIP phone. Oops, you can't see half the point. Uh, I was pointing with my finger, so you can't see that, of course. But uh, this, this phone's on hold with the VoIP client, so we pick it up. And I'm just going to see here. I'm trying to think if there's a way to put a call hold. Let me just mute this so we don't have loop back. Um, transfer call. Why don't we just try that? We'll go in here and type. Uh, why don't we do. I'm trying to think what another extension is that we might have on this system. 
Let's say 100, see what happens there. I'm sorry, 101. Actually, I'm not quite sure what happened. I'm just going to hang up. And you notice the status of the line there. We see how it is. Okay, I'm not sure how that transfer worked. I'm not sure if this recording works, but you get the idea how it works. It's pretty slick. And if I just remember that, let's close and I'm just going to close that screen and I'm going to open a new one. I'm just going to minimize that guy and paste that link in there. And once again, you'll see all the settings there because I said remember. So there is a quick overview of it. It's you know it's little. It's not nearly as nice as using something like the 3CX SIP client because you can use a keyboard much nicer. Um, but it, it, it's it's doable. It seems like it works, and uh, uh, kind of an interesting idea. Thought some people might have interest in seeing that. So uh, not perfect. But it seems to seems like it can work, and uh, first impression of the web SIP saw phone there, available at that link right there. All right, thanks for listening.